Today has been declared a first alert weather day because travel is expected to become difficult to impossible due to heavy snowfall on high country roadways. That is not the case here in Arizona, of course. Time for your traffic and weather together with 401 meteorologist Daniel McFarlane. And Daniel, even though it's not the case here, we are going to eventually get to that period monsoon right around the corner where uh, we will see our own crazy weather. Yeah, that's our crazy weather. And by the time Colorado gets to summer, they really don't have a whole lot. Of yeah, that. Colorado, they, they have crazy stuff in spring. Then they get to summer and then it's a little quieter for them. But we're the opposite. Yeah, definitely the opposite here. The one thing we do see during spring a lot of Robbie is the wind. And I do think for today you're going to have the occasional breeze that could be around, say, 15 to 20 miles per hour. But overall, it's going to be a break from what we've had the last few days. Now, we are expecting stronger winds to return on Friday. and I'll talk about that in a second. High temperatures are also going to take a step back from where they were yesterday. The high yesterday was 90 degrees. I think 86 is going to be where we're stopping today. But then after that, we are looking at a huge warm up for this weekend. I don't think we're reaching the triple digits, but we are going to get pretty close out there especially if you live in Tucson, 96 to 97 likely by Sunday. And I'll show you that in a second too. But currently, if you're about to walk out your door, upper 50s for most of us, you have some spots like Sabino Canyon sitting down at about 49. Airport sitting at 59 as we're getting things going so far here. Nogales 47 for you. Now both Ajo and Cells are going to be a bit warmer with their high temperatures today. And there's a handful of spots for those of you in Cochise County down into the mid 40s. Now outside of that, still looking at about 86 to 87, I think towards the middle of town, but the further out you get, it's going to be a little bit cooler. So I do think uh, Tucson estates there at about 85, Sarita and Green Valley staying around 84, and Vail's another spot we're looking at 85 degrees. So it is really going to be mild when it comes to the temperatures versus what we've seen in the past. So a lot closer to an actually average day, believe it or not, because typically this time of year, these are highs you expect, but we're going to be warming right back up for tomorrow. So even if you're in a spot like Wilcox and you do see 80 degrees, I'm expecting as high as 85 for you tomorrow with the way things are stacking up so far. Tomorrow morning, though, is going to look more of the same. We're still expecting these low temperatures to be right around the mid 50s. No real big changes there over the next few days, even with the changing high temperatures in the afternoon. As we start to look at these wind gusts, not really too much for those of you in western Pima County. So I want to kind of focus a little bit closer towards Wilcox, Bisbee, Douglas. Following along with the colors right here, you still have potential out there for some stronger wind gusts, but they're not going to be nearly as frequent. I do think, however, that these winds will be returning likely by Friday afternoon. So that's going to be the next time we're watching for some strong winds to head our way. And it's also going to be a time where the temperatures are going to be back on the way up. So 86 were today, right back to 92 for Thursday. Day. And then if you look at Sunday, that's the day I'm tracking over the next seven that I think we're most likely to be seeing the upper 90s. I don't think we're reaching the triple digits that day, but I wouldn't be surprised if a few areas somehow stop around, say, 98 or even 99 for a high temperature across the area. Well, that was weather. Let's go ahead and talk more about your